this is how it got Fluttershy to dance inside Ethel's studio. First I downloaded this simple pony animation by Ufi Colorful and separated all the frames into layers to make a sprite sheet. Only short animations work for this because Ethel Studio's dance plugin requires the animation to be exactly 8 frames long. Since this animation is 12 frames long and the most important frames are near the edges of the animation, I discarded frames 3, 5, 7, and 9. The next step is to take the maximum width of the animation and space the frames evenly by that width. I rounded my spacing to 400 pixels. You'll probably have to adjust the layer boundary size of each layer to the spacing width and center the content to prevent offset. By the way, you should be able to use any image manipulation program to do this, but I highly recommend GIMP because it has more stability and functionality than knockoff image editors like Photoshop. Anyway, now just export this as a PNG with transparency into the Fruity Dance Artwork folder, put a text file with the same file name in the folder, and write the name of the action the dancer is performing inside the text file probably dance. If you want to include multiple animations, you can add as many rows of frames as you like to the image and an extra label to the text file to represent each one. Boot up FL Studio and add Fruity Dance. Then click Load Sprite Sheet and select yours. And you're done! Wait a minute. I just noticed whoever made the transparent edit of this animation left aliased edges. So I'm going to go back into the image and fix as much of that as I can by using color selection and the rest by doing manual touch-ups. While I'm at it, I'll also get rid of the eye clipping because... I'll be frank, it doesn't look good. Sorry, Oofy. Everything else about this animation looks nice. Anyway, so now I'll just load the updated file into FL, and we now have a looping 8-frame animation of Fluttershy that will automatically synchronize with whatever BPM is set. As a final step, I recommend turning off blend mode because resampling doesn't look good. Now let's have some fun and make a beat for Fluttershy to dance to. I'm just going to throw something together in a few minutes with FL Studio's default sounds, since I made for previous songs, and AJ92's vocal track from Fluttershy's Sad Cat Dance, because why not? If you'd like to try this out yourself and add Flutter to your FL Studio project, check out the link in the description, which contains the sprite sheet and the text file. Pony, 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 pony.